Hey warriors, we all have physical and emotional scars, so why not embrace them? Find beauty in them. American Idol alum and Christian artist Danny Goki once said, scars show where you've been. They don't decide where you're going. I was 16 when I lost my brother David. And in that moment, something inside of me broke. I thought, should I run out in front of a car, slip my wrist, drown? Have any of you ever had those types of thoughts? I did. But my parents were already going through so much and I didn't want to be a burden to them. Can any of you relate to that? So instead, I suffered silently, but not painlessly. The pain had to go somewhere, and it did. If you look closely, you can still see the scars on my wrist. In the quiet of my bedroom or bathroom, I would use toenail clippers, scissors, basically anything sharp I could find to cut and carve my skin, desperate to control the pain I was feeling inside. How many of you have ever cut yourselves because of the pain you were feeling inside? I have. And I dealt with this silent hopelessness for four years until my Auntie Linda, Chris's mom, noticed the cuts on my wrist. She kissed them and told me that I was worthy and loved by friends and family and that I mattered. That conversation saved my life and encouraged me to get the help I so desperately needed through counseling, music, and my faith. I discovered a light at the end of the tunnel, but most importantly, I discovered a warrior in me. And there is a warrior in each and every one of you too. Next time, we will be playing a game of fact and fiction, and I will be busting the most common myths about suicide. But until then, remember, you matter, you are loved, and you are a warrior. warrior.